Last week I got into the front diff and figured out the problems from last season. Now that we're running a freshly rebuilt front diff with a locker, I've got one more area of concern that I'd like to look at prior to giving you the full cost breakdown that I've been promising. And the final piece to the puzzle is bomb-proof axles. While our current setup wasn't bad, we want to have full trust in the axles on the rig, and Rhino brand axles have a reputation to take a beating and continue to come back for more. The Rhino brand axles are tested up to 175 miles per hour, feature a proprietary heat treatment, are guaranteed to fit, and come with a minimum 12-month warranty. But possibly just as good as the specs are the thousands of reviews from riders who continually beat their axles and push the limits week after week. I think that this is gonna be the answer, along with the new diff and locker to really propel the racer forwards and ensure we don't just spin the front wheels, but keep them spinning run after run. Now I've been asked many times for a complete breakdown of the cost to build this thing. And I know at the start, we told you that we were doing it on a budget, but from there, we've been a little vague. So let me break everything down for you. Up front, the 2008 Outlander 800 XT ran us 3,500 bucks. From stock form, we tore the Audi down to the frame and stiffened it between the engine and the front diff. After this, we made a visit to Mr. RPM in North Carolina, where the motor was our focus. Choosing to install a full 860 kit, along with Maverick heads, solid motor mounts, Mr. RPM valve covers and water necks, new main bearings, throttle body boring, and a reflashed ECU, we ended up with over 60% greater power than a stock 800 at 79.5 horse at the rear wheels. And those are real dyno numbers. That brings our total to $5,275. Add to this the full HMF exhaust and power tuner, and we go up another grand to just shy of 6,300. Keeping the Mud Racer breathing is a $230 Warrior Riser kit from snorkelyeratv.com, and that brings our total to $6,505. Putting the power to the ground, we have a Mud and Wheels XMR Torque Series rear diff that's bulletproof and runs about a grand. Up front, we have a fully rebuilt stock diff with a torque locker from Can-Am Parts Guy, and those together add another thousand bucks. And when we link the Rhino axles I installed today at 800, total cost goes up to 9,305. Super ATV hooked us up with high clearance adjustable front A arms, as well as the 29.5 Assassinators, which cost us 1,135 total. Adding an aggressive and mud race tuned ride are Elka Stage 2 shocks out back and Stage 1s up front. Shocks came in at 1,235 bucks. Total build cost up to now, 11,675. Rubber Down Customs did a lot of cool stuff for us, and while it looks very custom, the truth is they'll do it all for you too. The custom cut DT Logo front tilting rad relocate, along with the rear differential stiffener and the insanely cool 14 inch Swamp Locks Crush Lock rims totaled 990 bucks. But they also added huge to the cool factor and immensely to the functionality. Full Throttle Power Sports out of Western Canada sent us a pair of their race version Gen 1 footwells at 350 bucks. Up at the handlebars, Checo Racing strengthened the steering stem for $100, and the crew at Rock Speed Effects gave us the finishing touches with custom cut and stitched handguards with aluminum mounts, aluminum taper bars and riser, and a set of their amazing foot pegs to keep us planted for a total from them of $450, bringing the entire build to $13,565. While you may think that that's a big investment, if you consider that you might already have a good shape Outlander with a solid front diff in it already, you can take your investment down to about 9,000 bucks. Then consider the fact that even a brand new mud specific ATV is gonna need about 5,000 bucks worth of the stuff we put into this one to keep it competitive in this style class. Well, now you're down to about $4,000. And to me, that's an investment that I'd make time and time again. The fun with the mud build isn't over yet. In only a few weeks, we'll be taking the Mud Racer to a local race event to work out any kinks, followed by a return to Smoke and Spurs later this year to see if we can't get us a podium. And all this and more coming your way this season on Dirt Tracks. Thanks for watching this Dirt Tracks segment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button where you can watch pretty much anything related to ATV and side-by-sides.